Hi everyone, Forrest here with Honey Pots Zone 5 in Michigan, and it is spring. I don't know if you can hear all the birdies in the back, but they are chirping their little hearts out, singing it in. You know, um, a couple crows around, love it, just love it. So it's like the second day of spring here, and it's still chilly you know we'll probably have a some more cold snaps and a couple freezes but that doesn't mean we can't plant our peas and I have them right here and I'm gonna plant them in the bed behind me right along this chicken wire fence I've got to got to straighten that out a bit but um, I'll have the peas grow up that and in the front I'll plant some radishes later on and then I will put beans in here they'll take over and it'll be my transition from peas to radishes to beans you know radishes grow really quick and they're yummy little snacks and peas we can throw in everything and then behind you I'm probably I'm gonna do a repeat but with sugar snaps um, and I, those are great in like stir fries and stuff like that or just to steam them yum so anyways these little guys uh, with peas what you're gonna want to do what the rule of thumb is is to plant them two to three times their diameter so this little guy here I would be better off to see him in my black glove peas are pretty big so they're really easy to plant really good for like kids if you've got kids and you want them to um, plant and grow and learn to garden these are really easy for them to handle really easy to grow if you do it at the right time of year if you do it too late and it gets too warm it's just not gonna happen that's why I'm out here early not as early as I wanted to be but we've had a lot of uh, snow on the ground a lot of wet weather um, so it just wasn't conducive for me to do that and one really cool thing I don't know I guess this is kind of philosophical but this beautiful pea here and every seed on the planet and every person and being on the planet this pea has everything that it needs to become everything that it is inside of there. Is that not cool? So, yay. So, don't forget that one. And what I'm going to do is real simple. I want to keep the soil. I don't want to touch the soil a lot in here. Um, we've got some bee species that are really struggling right now um, not even the honeybees but like our uh, local little pollinating bees and they will one of them's a squash bee and they will drill down the female will drill down and she'll make a little tunnel and in the winter she will winterize in there so if I disturb this there's a good chance that I am going to suffocate her um, and the other thing that she'll do in the spring once it warms up and she can go and get her pollen and her nectar for her babies, she will drill down and then she'll make little offshoots off of this tunnel she's drilling in the ground and she will put an egg in each one and seal it up with food that she's collected so that there'll be more bees to pollinate our squash and our cucumbers and uh, farmers are having a hard time with their cucumbers right now and some of the squash I know it's hard to believe you can't get enough zucchini but it's you know it's happening because we're we feel we have to till up the soil all the time and disturb it all the time and add to it and we do need to do that but try and time it better um, maybe do a light top dressing because if that top dressing gets too thick uh, they're not going to be able to make it up that far or make it through without getting exhausted or starving. So um, keep that in mind when you're planting. So I'm going to gently pull this back and this ground is still, I mean, I can see some ice here, but we need to get these in. Oh, there's a millipede. Sorry, little guy. But my peas are going to go right along here. And I'm not sure how hard this ground is oh no it's soft so I'm putting it in about an inch and a half up to my first knuckle yeah there's ice right there gonna work around that and kind of patting the dirt back down in there 
here's another centipede guy and then I will cover this back up and let these peas go at it I may have to come out and do another planting I just need to keep an eye on it I it may get it may be too moist and they could rot but I do want that soil to be moist so it'll break through that hard shell and soften it up so my peas will start growing so we're out here this is our first planting of the spring 2019 season I'm super excited I'm super excited to have you guys with me there'll be a lot more videos to come now that I can get outside get working get moving my health is getting back in gear so we're gonna have at it okay I'll see you guys in the next video